How's it going, Radical viewers? Grim Caddy right back into it with another Grim's pick. And this time, well, honestly, we're, we're still on The Witcher, and we're on a very similar looking outfit. This time, we're tackling the Manticore armor set. Again, from the Wild Hunt, though the original look came from the original Witcher game back on PC. Uh, a game I have yet to actually fully play because uh, it's, uh, it's a little dated. Granted, it's, you know, it, it's weirdly fun. It, like, data games can be fun. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and break down the outfit piece by piece, shall we? Earlier, before someone else barges into the shop and possibly shoots up out the street. Very similar to the Wolf School armor set I kind of did for the outfit. Just a few key differences here and there. Again, no hats, eyewear, mask, bandanas, neckwear, coats, blah, 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 no ponchos. Vest, we're going to throw on the Valdez vest yet again. But this time we're going to go in completely black with it. Now, that said, if you have to be lucky enough to uh, own the Morales vest in black, it could also work and it could also help with some uh, nice cold weather outfits. And if you have to own it in red, it'll actually do really well for the Wolf School outfit as well. Something I forgot to bring up last time. For shirts, once again, we're going to throw on the good old patent shirt in white. No suspenders, because we're not going to see them. Gauntlets. We're going to, again, throw on the leather gauntlets. I don't know why the Harshaw gauntlets cover up the glove. That throws me off for some reason. That's weird. And honestly, if it didn't do that, I would recommend it on the Wolf School outfit. But if they do, screw that. Moving on to gloves, really one of the few key differences, we're going to throw on the all-black cavalry gloves. Really suit the look really nicely. I, I kind of like how it covers up the gauntlet there, but not completely. We're not going to throw on any belts with this outfit. Buckle is always his dealer's choice. Weapon equipment, this is way interesting. I don't know why I rolled with this, but I love how it suits the look. The Webster holster and gun belt. Sadly, off the top of my head, I can't remember if it was the Trader no. This has to be the Collector, right? It's one of those two. It's either the Trader or Collector you get this set from. I'm going to assume Collector, seeing as I see that little knick-knack on my hip. But I could be wrong. Gun Bell Trinkets, honestly, completely dear as choice. I, I, threw on, I threw on the Whitford Compass because I just thought I completed the look. And if I have for a Bandolier, I personally recommend the Espinol double bandolier here actually comes in a really nice darker shade of brown which actually matches the gun belt really nice that said if uh you happen to have uh dropped the gold on this fine pos oh dear sweet lord i can never find a color that this actually works in but my god i cannot diss it for how fancy it looks this thing looks sick as all hell that said again that's been all you pay actual you know, you pay Red Dead dollars in it. You don't pay for gold like this thing. This personal recommendation. Also, it's easier to find colors that match on it. Moving on to the pants, the Gibson pants. In the darker brown and black colors. While the placement of the color tones isn't an exact match for the outfit itself, the colors are there, and I'm thankful for it. Also, it's leather and cloth, which is really, really nice, other than having to throw on some chaps. Speaking of which, no chaps with this outfit, thank god. Moving on to boots, I completely forgot off the top of my head what the hell I used. Ah, there we go, I used the lumber boots. In black. Pardon me, I don't have any of these actually memorized, I, I, I'm terrible about that. For spurs, I recommend the Vaquero Baroque spurs, eh, preferably in the red. But of course, if these aren't available to you, because I swear to god these were a limited time or a special event kind of thing, I again cannot remember because my memory is freaking terrible. Honestly, really any fancier spur with a nice red strap will do wonders for you. And the Vaquero Rider spurs actually work pretty decently. That all said, that's it. As usual, I hope you all enjoyed. If you all did enjoy, a great way of showing that support is by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course sharing it with your friends. And, you know, while again I'm not taking requests on the Grimm's Picks line of these little videos of mine, I'm always open to suggestions, which you're more than welcome to drop down in the comments below, or join our Discord linked in the description and just 
have it over there, show off some of your own outfits, and see some of the other ones some of the Radical viewers have made. I, I'm wickedly impressed with some of the stuff they've made. I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little jealous. <laughs> that all said, once again, though, thank you all for watching. Now cheers to those who love us, the losers that lost us, and as always, lucky sons of bitches that get to meet us. <laughs> Next time.